it's an honor to be able to present this to the body today on behalf of um, all of the committee members in uh, our spe Senate Special Committee on the Arctic and in furtherance of our Arctic policy goal that you have set um, this year as the president. Um, this is a particularly um, a good resolution moving forward that will help the body understand how we're hoping to lead as Alaskans as we assume the Arctic Council chairmanship here at the end of April. The Arctic Council was set up um, in 1996. This is, will be only the second time in global history that the United States has taken the chair. Um, and I've discussed in other resolutions on um, this floor that what we're hoping um, here in Alaska, because Alaska is what makes the United States an Arctic nation, is to use this opportunity to, uh, with all eyes on the Arctic, to focus on the economic and development opportunities that are in the Arctic for Alaskans, um, for the people of the North. This resolution is focused on a particular subset um, of the Arctic Council chairmanship that we will get to assume, which is called the Arctic Economic Council. And Mr. President, this was just enacted uh, last year. The, the country that had it before us, as you know, was Canada. They've had it for the last two years. They'll be passing the torch to us. Their, um, their uh, Prime Minister, uh, Stephen Harper, selected a northerner, Leona Aglukuk, who is the premier or the governor, if you will, of Nunavik, a northerner to chair the Arctic Council, something we were hoping to do in a previous resolution is to get an Alaskan. In this resolution, however, we are at least asking that there be an Alaskan to head the Arctic Economic Council. Uh, for obvious reasons, um, we, are the, we are what makes the United States a, an, an Arctic nation, but there's another reason as well, and that's, um, uh, as I mentioned, this was one of uh, Canada's major goals to, to set up this particular uh, Arctic Economic Council to serve as a primary forum to interact between the Arctic Council and those doing business, the circumpolar business community. And um, the gentleman in the other body and I who co-chair the Alaska Arctic Policy Commission were approached by our State Department last year. Um, and they told us they had no intention of carrying forward this particular tenet that had been adopted. And um, we were very surprised by that because we felt this was one of the best things that Canada did during their chairmanship was to create this opportunity for businesses all over the circumpolar region to come together, to interface with their public sector leaders and to talk about responsible de development in the Arctic. So they, they let us know they would no longer be funding it. Um, and we promptly said we were happy to pick up that orphan. And we, we picked it up and ran with it. Um, agreed to put some state resources toward it. And um, I'm happy to report we have some great Alaskans that we recommended that were adopted by the president to sit on this committee. They're all Alaskans. Um, so if I, I'd like to read their name, if I might, um, okay. Mr. President. Lori Davey, Bruce Harland, Gail Schubert, Janet Reiser, um, Arlene Gunderson, and Tara Sweeney. These are all Alaskans that you, that you know that, that live and work in the Arctic. Um, they have taken over the uh, uh, Arctic Economic uh, Development Council. And in fact, in Inkaluit, in Canada, the meeting that was held just three months ago, I'm told that the Alaskans outnumbered um, all of the other Arctic delegations by threefold. And that's, that's new for us because, as I've mentioned on the floor before, um, America has been behind in Arctic policy, and Alaska has been right behind with it. But we're catching up, Mr. President, and taking over in the way that Alaskans do. Um, just a few more things I want to read into the record. I've discussed this before, but we know globally all eyes are on the Arctic. We've seen the development in the Chukchi and the Beaufort. Those are some very important areas that we're hoping will help fill up that Trans-Alaska pipeline again, create new, um, new uh, energy opportunities for America, energy independence, to continue the path Alaska has had in being that. At one point, we were 20% of the United States domestic energy supplier. So we're hoping to be that again. But there's an additional $100 billion right now, Mr. President. The Guggenheim um, Investment Group has reported waiting to go into circumpolar investment. It's all kinds of things. It's mining, it's shipping, the shortening of those shipping times, um, it's tourism, uh, and, and so forth. So this is an exciting chance for us. We're asking in this resolution, please make an Alaskan the chair of this. Um, we're the ones that picked it up. We're running with it. We're excited to be a part of it. But we'd like to have an Alaskan um, at that table. And um, so I'll let members read over all of the, the whereases when they get a chance. But just another opportunity for the Senate to take a lead 
on Arctic policy, particularly in the area of, of development where um, I hope again Alaska gets back up to the top of producing uh, places on the earth with the help of some sound investment in the Arctic and a good Alaskan at the helm of that. So with, um, with that, members, I urge your support today.